Howdy, it's Steve. Hi Chooms, it's Levi. We finally have a trailer for Phantom Liberty, the upcoming $30 expansion for CD Projekt Red's Cyberpunk 2077. But one big change you won't see in the trailer is the game's approach to cyberware and cyberpsychosis. Quest director Pavel Sasko said in an interview that Phantom Liberty will overhaul cyberware, giving you the ability to amp up your chrome at the expense of your health or other detriments. It's a move that brings the game a little bit closer to the original tabletop RPG's description of cyberpsychosis, which is also how it was depicted in the Edge Runners Netflix show, If You've Seen It, which you should, it's dope. But 2077 changed how cyberpsychosis works, and it changed it for the better. See, in the original TTRPG, cyberpsychosis was a balance mechanic. Player characters had a humanity stat, which was reduced with each new body modification. When that score dropped too low, your character became a hostile NPC in the hands of the DM, a cyberpsycho. As you might imagine, this is a dated and less than stellar depiction of mobility aids, prosthetics, and general body modification. So for 2077, CD Projekt Red changed how cyberpsychosis works. If you follow Regina Jones' Psycho Killer questline, you'll come face to face with a series of heavily augmented people who have in one way or another turned violent. But you're encouraged to take these people in alive. If you read the shards found throughout the gigs, you'll paint a new picture of cyberpsychosis. Rather than a loss of humanity due to body mods, it's actually not a singular condition at all. Cyberpsychosis in 2077 is a red herring, a popular media term that hides all of the actual ills faced by the cyberpsychos you're hunting. Things like PTSD, addiction, and the general crushing weight of capitalist society. By applying the label of cyberpsycho to these people, no one in Night City needs to address the underlying causes of violence, the inherent inequity of their systems. It's a fantastic update to the cyberpsychosis mechanic, one that brings a dated way to balance TTRPG characters into perfect alignment with the overarching themes of cyberpunk as a game and a genre. But Edge Runners walked that back making cyberpsychosis a genuine medical condition once again. One that's affected by trauma, sure, but one that's also presented as treatable with relatively normal medical procedures and medication. This shifts the view back and once again makes cyberpsychosis a commentary on body modification and prostheses. Not a great look. Not a great look at all. The world's fucked in the head. Phantom Liberty's changes don't quite bring the game into full alignment with Edge Runners and the TTRPG, but it's a step closer and a step further from the social commentary it had become within the game. So, no, your V probably won't become a cyberpsycho in Phantom Liberty, but the open world RPG's view towards cyberpsychosis has changed. Will the game be worse off for it? What's your take on the cyberware changes coming to Phantom Liberty? Let us know in the comments below. Video games forever, Kotaku.com.